so uh, hello students uh, this week's lectures uh, seven and eight and the topic of today's lecture is local area networks and that's the basics uh, there are three major types of networks first local area network uh, which serves users within a confined geographical area usually within a mile uh, second metropolitan area network uh, it covers a geographic area the size of a city or suburb and the purpose of a metropolitan uh, area network is open to bypass local telephone companies when accessing long distance service and the last uh, it's a wide area network it covers a wide geographical area such as state or country examples Taiwan, Telenet, Unionet, and Acunet. And the um, emphasis uh, definition of a local area network is that it's physical and logical land topologies and different medium access control protocols. And uh, there are common LAN systems. First, it's Ethernet, it's first commercially available LAN, second, it's token ring, and the last, FTTI, which means Cable Data Distributed Interface Ring. Uh, so now um, let's talk about some introduction. Uh, so a local area network is a communication network that interconnects a variety of data communicating devices within a small geographic area and the broadcast data at high data transfer rates and a very low error rate. Um, since the local area network first appeared in the 1970s, its use uh, has become widespread in commercial and academic environments. Um, functions of a local area network, it's first it's file server, a large storage disk drive that acts as a central storage repository. Second, it's a print server, provides the authorization to access a particular printer, except in the queue print jobs, and provides a user access uh, to the print queue to perform administrative duties. And the third, it's interconnection, a LAN can provide an interconnection to other LANs and to wide area networks. Uh, next, it's video transfers. High speed LANs are capable of supporting video image and relief video transfers. Manufacturing support LANs can support manufacturing and industrial environments, and the distributed preprocessing of the LANs can support network operating systems, which performs operations of distributed processing. Uh, there are several advantages of local area networks, which are ability to share hardware and software resources. Individual workstation might survive network failure. Component and system evolution are possible. Support for heterogeneous forms of hardware and software, access to other lands and wide area networks, and private ownership and the secure transfers at high speeds with low error rates. Mm, here is given a figure of a local area network interconnecting a, a, another local area network, the internet and the mainframe computing. And there are also some disadvantages of local area network, which are the equipment and support can be costly, level of maintenance continues to grow, private ownership, uh, some types of hardware may not be interoperate. Just because a LAN can support two different kinds of packages, it doesn't mean that the data can interchange easily. And the LAN is only as strong as its weakest link, and there are many links. Uh, here is given a figure of tab used to interconnect the workstation to a LAN cable. Uh, the next figure shows uh, three different techniques to allow a two-way conversation using broadband signal. Uh, the next picture uh, shows a simple example of broadband tree topology. Uh, so now let's talk about wireless topology. It's not really a specific topology uh, since a workstation in a wireless LAN can be anywhere as long as it's within transmitting distance to an access point. Mm, here the range varies from 50 to 8,000, with speeds of 2 to 11 megapixels, megabytes. Most wireless LANs include a wide LAN platform, and it usually requires a wireless NIC. There are also different forms, and newer IEE uh, 800.11 and 800.11B Wi-Fi standard defines various forms of Files LAN connections speeds up to 11 megabytes to is uh, 100.5B standard. And workstations reside within a basic service set, while multiple basic service sets create an extended service set. Also, here is topology that uh, it's acceptable transmission range broken up in areas. First, basic service set, 
sets around the access points. The second is extended service days where a collection of basic service sets. Box stations is using a basic service set while multiple basic service sets create an extended service set. There are two basic components nested is client radio, usually a PC card with an integrated antenna, and there's the access point AP, which is an Ethernet port plus a transceiver. This AP acts as a bridge between the wired and the wireless networks and can perform basic routine functions. Box stations with client radio cards are used within a basic service set, while multiple basic services create an extended service set. It is uh, the picture shown a single uh, cell wireless LAN configuration, while here is uh, showing multiple cell wireless LAN configuration. And uh, this picture shows ad hoc configuration for wireless LAN. Uh, so there are uh, systems of local area network, which are SNET, OCS, MA, CD, and they are most common form of LAN today. Uh, Star wide pass is the most common topology, but pass topology also around. And SNET comes in many forms depending upon medium use and transmission speed and function. Uh, so, thank you for attention. <laughs>